G'day everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Viv here. Let's go down to the back of the studio and have a look at what we're doing with those giant blocks of foam. We finally started to do something with them and uh, we're making a huge amount of mess, which is an awesome amount of fun. So down the back here is my brother Aki. Here we are. And we're, as you can see, making a huge amount of mess. Cutting off big blocks of those uh, massive foam chunks and uh, carving up some heels. Basically just ripping chunks off and using our hands to uh, sculpt it and shape it and make it pretty. So once we finish off the last little bits of uh, sculpting and shape, shaping and cleaning ourselves up, we'll take this over to the workbench and uh, blast it with the hot air gun just to uh, seal it up a little bit and give it a little bit of a skin before we apply some uh, plaster to it. So we'll take that up there in a second. Cool, done. All right, we'll take that up to the workbench over there. This is not something you want to do in your living room. Huge amount of mess goes everywhere. So it's just a hot air gum. And all we're going to do is just gently wave it over the top. And you'll see that a skin forms. Little, little slower, mate. So all we're doing is just cutting off big massive chunks of foam and shaping them, heating them up with that hot air gun just to apply a bit of a skin to them. Cheers. And uh, now we'll uh, render them up with some plaster. Aki's looks really good. It looks like it's emerging out of the ground. This big block here kind of just looks like it's sitting on the ground. I don't mind this side and uh, I have a tunnel that runs all the way through the base of mine but uh, you can see sort of on this right hand side how it's just sort of square. I think I need to reshape it so it's sort of peeking in a little bit but uh, just a couple of line of, black, line of sight blocking uh, mountains and hills something to uh, that I think every table lacks is these big sort of uh, line of sight blocking hills and mountains so one of these I reckon on a table will be fine and then your other bits of scenery. We'll come back later on and have a look at texturing these up with some plaster and then a little bit of sculpting on top of that. Painting hopefully at a later stage. Thanks for checking it out. See ya.